Hi friends, Mindy here. Today I'm going to be doing another video for Defemember, Remember, which is hosted by Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. I'm going to be working on prompt seven today, which is safety pin and postage stamp. And I'm just showing you, I have these little ball pins that I'm gonna be using. I don't have um, traditional safety pins. And then I have some stamps that came in this ephemera from, I believe this was your creative studio um, subscription box that I had purchased. Um, and so I'm just pulling out, I don't have any actual like vintage um, postage stamps or anything. So these are actually stickers, but um, they're meant to look like stamps. So these will work for what I have in mind for today. So I'm just feel, pulling out a few of the ones that I um, want to work with here today that are gonna kind of match the color scheme I have in mind for this set of ephemera. Um, this is a challenge that they're hosting every day in December. So be sure to go check out their channels um, to see what they have been up to. Obviously, um, I'm not in keeping with the day. That was just too much for me to be able to do um, for December. So I'm just kind of working randomly through different prompts. I don't know if I'll do all the prompts, but I am doing some of them. So um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking some of these tags that I have and I'm using some distress paints and I'm going to create a little background for me here. So I, um, my distress paint, the little dauber on this one was kind of dried out. So I just put that down on my craft mat and I added some water and I'm just gonna drag these tags through, um, through this paint. And so the color I'm using for this brown color is Vintage Photo. Um, and I'm actually going to be doing both the front and the back. So this is kind of, you know, a little bit messy here. And I, because it comes out so thick when you pour it out like that, I had to add, go back and add water. And you'll see me like, um, I'm just spraying the tag and then picking up the paint. I didn't want it to be too super dark. Um, so I'm just going through here. I have um, eight tags in total, just four small ones. And then four of the bigger size. So I took those and I dried them and now I'm uh, using broken china. And I apologize for the camera angle. I did not realize this was so weird until I started um, editing this video. I must have bumped my little thing that holds my phone. So I apologize for this weird angle. I will get this better for next time. But anyway, now I'm just going through and I'm doing this same process with vintage photo, or excuse me, broken china. This combination of colors is one of my favorites to use, broken china and vintage photo. I think it, it just does some really nice things when they mix and stuff. And then, so I dried that layer of broken china and now I'm just kind of going back through and just being a little bit more specific with some of the vintage photo, making sure I get everything kind of where I want it. And again, I'm doing both sides of the tags because I'm not sure how these are going to work. I imagine they're kind of going like tuck spots and stuff. And so I just want to make sure that there's color on both sides, but I'm only going to be um, kind of collaging on the front of them. So I'm going through here and just kind of picking up all of the paint and then now, and then I dried it all again. And so now I'm just going to go through here and kind of determine which of the two sides I like better. Um, and then that'll be the side that I do a little collage with these postage stamps. Um, I, I couldn't really think of any other way to um, how to kind of put these two prompts together. I don't know that I would necessarily think of postage stamps and safety pins together. So um, this is just kind of what I came up with. So I'm just laying out my little postage stamps here in a way that I thought, but the, um, these bottom, the bottom row here is such a, they're so tiny. So what I end up doing is have putting all of the vertical um, postage stamps on those little tiny ones and then to put the horizontal ones where I had a little bit more surface area up on those bigger, um, on those bigger tags. It just um, worked a little bit better that way. So now I'm going to pull out some pieces. I have a little box that you'll just see me kind of reaching for here that has little pieces to do this kind of collaging with. This is some vellum actually. Uh, this actually is left over from another project that I did um, for Defemember. Ember. And um, so I'm gonna use that. And right now I'm just kind of laying out the pieces. I'm not gluing anything down yet. I just kind of want to get an idea for what I'm gonna want to use. So I end up using some um, vintage music paper. This is actually um, was sent to me by Anne Marie and I love it. It's, this one is um, 
Beethoven's music, which is pretty awesome. And then I also have um, a tea bag that I'm going to be using. It's kind of hard to see on camera, for, especially from this weird angle. Um, but that's what that last card or tag has is the tea bag. And then I have also done some book text and some, um, a little bit of like brown paper bag, um, just to kind of break up some of the busier patterns. So you'll see me kind of gluing down on, um, these smaller tags. I'm just adding just a little bit because I want to be able to, in the future, add things to these tags if I want to. Um, and so I don't want to have too much on here that I can't do that. So I just have a little piece of paper over to the side of this so I can use my glue stick. This is a Yoohoo glue stick. It's really good, um, really sticky for things like if you're wanting to do collage. You could also do like um, collage medium and that kind of stuff. I just, that takes a little bit longer to dry and I just didn't want to do that. So today I'm just, for today I'm just using my glue stick, but, um, and I think it should be fine. I'm also making sure to add glue even behind where these little stickers are going to go because I'm not sure how well they're going to stick. So just having a little extra layer of glue is not going to hurt anybody. So um, I am just gluing these down kind of in different parts and you'll see some of these I kind of hung off the edge a little bit. Um, that one that had the penguin on it, it the, the picture was shifted a little bit on like off center on the actual stamp. So I just went ahead and made sure to hang that edge off of the tag. And then when I trim it down later, um, it'll lose, the, you'll lose that part that's kind of off center and it will make it make more sense visually. So, um, and things just look very pleasing when they're hanging off the edge for some reason. So I didn't do that with every single stamp, but I did do it with a lot of them, especially these on these smaller tags. And then I went through that same exact process for these larger tags. And I lost the footage of me putting the beads here on these um, ball pins. But basically I just took like jewelry making beads that I had in my stash from my jewelry making days. And, um, and I just kind of did them in different configurations kind of based on the imagery. So some of them had a little bit brighter colors in the stamp, like some blues and greens. And so I added some different, um, and this one I ended up fixing this after after everything because I realized that there were six beads on there and I, that just was going to drive me crazy so um, you can see a close-up that, of that one at the end but so anyway I just added some little um, little beads here this one actually is one that hangs down and somewhere in my stash I have the um, pins to be able to do that but I could not find them um, and so I just need to, to dig those out so that I can make more of the ones that kind of dangle down. But anyway, here you can see some close up shots of the tags that I created. So if you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Barbara and Louisa's channels for all of the rest of Defember River, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.